Nowadays, there are always insane technologies being created, paving their way into our reality. If you want to know what is happening in the technological world, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Galore Techs. Subscribe and check out this list of new game-changing technologies. Number one, self-supervised learning. Self-supervised learning, the machine learning paradigm, processes unlabeled data to obtain useful representations to learn and understand different tasks. What's the most salient thing about SSL, you ask? It's that it does not need human annotated labels and is based entirely on artificial neural networks. Whole working is done in two steps. First, the task is solved on an auxiliary pretext, a then supervised or unsupervised learning of the system help in its completion. Self-supervised learning, also termed as self-labeling, has produced many productive results in recent years. Number two, neuromorphic computing. Do you want to learn something more advanced than generative AI? It's time to learn about neuromorphic computing. The structure and function of the human brain has inspired the mention technology. Physical artificial neurons are used to do the computations. Scientists expect that neuromorphic computing will address all the challenges of next-gen AI and will provide brain-inspired energy-efficient computing models. The technology was also explored at Zurich and IBM research institutes, and they focused on all the unique tactics inspired by the biological systems to optimize learning and efficiency. Number three, decentralized identity. Decentralized identity allows people to control their own digital identity. If you need clarification about digital identity, then it is the online information of any individual, organization, or device. It can be done in two ways, centralized and decentralized. In decentralized identity, identifiers are not issued, managed, or controlled by any central identity. The identifiers are stored on distributed ledgers or peer-to-peer -peer networks. They can be associated with different entities, including people, organizations, or government institutes. For a better understanding, you can take an example of Ethereum accounts. You can create as many as you want without permission and without the need to store them in a central registry. Number four, digital human. We all interact with other humans wherever we go, but the advancement in technology is making common the encounter of humans with their digital doubles and digital assistants. So the next challenge is to create more realistic digital humans capable of better interaction with us. AI avatars are the most common version these days. They are portraits created by artificial intelligence. The same algorithm breaks your photo into small pieces to examine the features, hairs, and other photo elements. The ultimate goal is to create an exact replica of a living person by AI. And we should keep in mind that our digital characters will be distinctive from their counterparts. Number five, edge computer vision. Computers do all things these days, but have you ever considered how computers can do all this independently? A set of instructions has fed into them in order to do so. This technique of teaching computers to analyze data like humans is known as computer edge vision. But computer vision can spot patterns in visual data that the human eye cannot, making it a useful tool in various industries. The outcomes are real-time decision-making, increased security, decreased latency, and fewer bandwidth requirements. Different techniques such as object detection, image classification, feature extraction, and anomaly detection can be fulfilled to implement edge computer vision. As edge computer vision can process and analyze visual data in real time with enhanced security and privacy, it has developed benefits in innovative solutions that enhance business operations and improve customer experiences. The most important applications of edge computer vision are autonomous vehicles, smart retail, security and surveillance, industrial automation, and in healthcare. Number six, smart spaces. Smart spaces, the public areas outfitted with sensory technologies that collect data and generate insights about the conditions and occupant interaction of the surrounding. They can be captured in real time and collected from historical data. A smart space minimizes the differences between public and personal space, like with digital billboards that allow the users to target the audience by telling them about the specificity of the product. Smart space paradigms are not specified to a specific region, but they can spread across areas when technology enters the race. Like IoT and 5G can now monitor municipal operations using real-time data and provide services to citizens efficiently. Number seven, 
Nature Editing. We are all well aware about the changes made in materials, plants, and even humans by editing. Nanotechnology is helping in the addition of new features such as water resistance and self-healing capabilities. In the same way, we expect to see nature editing in 2023 by altering DNA. Gene editing can also be done today to correct DNA mutations and edit human characteristics such as hair color and eye color. Isn't it interesting that soon you will be able to get features you've always dreamed of? Picture a baby born with a perfect jawline and hazel eyes. Number 8. Spatial Computing The techniques and equipment used to record, process, and interact with 3D data are collectively called spatial computing. IoT, digital twins, ambient computing, augmented reality, virtual reality, AI, and physical controllers are all spatial computing components. Spatial computing can be used to model an industrial process using a network of 3D cameras, or it can be as basic as turning on the lights when you enter a room. The orchestration of autonomous computing applications in the automation of supply chains, self-driving automobiles, and warehouses is another function of spatial computing concepts. A combination of the different elements such as sound and light, photography, sensors, and movement trackers are all used in spatial computing in order to integrate digital images into the real world realistically. Number 9. Web3 Web3 is a worldwide web working on blockchain technologies, decentralization, and token-based economics. It was invented by Ethereum in 2014 and became popular in 2021 among the enthusiasts of cryptocurrencies, major technologies, and venture capital corporations. Now, even though Web3 concepts were initially proposed in 2013, people have also voiced worries about the concentration of wealth in the hands of a very few investors and individuals, or even a loss of privacy due to more extensive data collection. Others have stated that Web3 is little more than a catchphrase or a marketing term, citing Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey as examples. Journalists and technologists have suggested Web3 as a potential remedy for worries about the web's excessive concentration in a few big tech firms. Some have suggested that Web3 could go beyond what Web 2.0 platforms are now capable of regarding data security, scalability, and privacy. Number 10, Multimodal UI. What would you think if we told you about a technology requiring several inputs to produce a larger output? Yes, Multimodal UI is capable of doing this. It needs sensory information from the eyes, ears, hands, feet, nose, and mouth to be more intuitive and effective. They are the best options for jobs requiring a high level of coordination and cannot be completed by a single modality. Despite this advancement, many people still identify effective multimodal user interfaces with the idea that everyone has a different mindset depending on the work. Some people prefer to smell the signals while others prefer oral cues. However, experts all believe a single interface can be more reliable. Multimodal user interfaces can provide a more intuitive and productive user experience. And tasks that are challenging to complete with a single modality are well suited for multimodal user interfaces. Number 11, responsible and human compatible AI. So to develop ethical and human compatible AI, it is necessary to understand how people interact with and trust AI systems. It's also important to clarify how AI models work and increase people's comprehension of operating the AI systems. A high quality AI approach must be able to analyze people's views or misperceptions about the AI systems, assess the negative effects or potential misuse of the AI systems, and include measures to lessen both human and AI biases. Number 12, Hyper Automation and Cybersecurity. Almost all software categories now include next generation AI technologies, but experts think that there is a need to automate much more. They have been predicting that hyper automation will become a widespread incorporated trend for the past few years. Hyper automation in cybersecurity may be the key to managing the constant barrage of notifications and cyber disasters. Now, if we talk about the advantages of hyper automation, they include streamlining and improving the automation of work and processes, improving business agility and DevOps strategies, and augments low code or no code security. But also, hyper automation requires a next gen technology infrastructure. So tell us, did you learn any new technologies? Which upcoming technology do you think will be the most important? Tell us down in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video and remember to like, comment, 
and subscribe for more interesting Galore Text videos. Thanks for watching.